Hey guys, it's Sherry J here with another video. I need a new thing to say before every video. I, I'll figure this out. I'm about to show you guys the products that I use on my hair between wigs because, you know, I'm a protective style junkie and I wear wigs all the time. And I'm not afraid to say it anymore because, like, who cares? I like changing my hair and protecting my real hair. So, yeah. Um, I did a review on this unit. I'm not sure if I can post this before or after I post that video. We'll see. But I'm going to show you the products I use in between, like, when I wash my hair and all that good stuff. Yeah. So, let's get right into it. So, as you guys know, I do braid my cornrow my hair under all these units and I keep it cornrowed for the entire week usually unless like because like my hair does grow well it has its moments when it wants to grow really fast and like loosen up so then I tighten it in the middle of the week sometimes or if I'm bored whatever but anyway I cornrowed it I cornrow it after I wash it in the beginning of the week and then when I take it out it's wash day so I finger detangle my hair um and then i separate into four sections and then i wash my hair by section in the shower what i use to wash my hair okay if my hair is really dirty say i went over a week with these braids for some reason like my hair wasn't itching or it was still pretty clean but then all of a sudden it's like really really dirty all of a sudden or I use a lot of product during the week to moisturize my hair who knows i use the cantu shea butter moisturizing cream shampoo to clarify my hair I'm thinking about changing that because it does dry out my hair it cleans my scalp really well but it's pretty drying so I'm on the lookout for a shampoo that clarifies really really well but doesn't dry out my hair so if you have any suggestions leave them down below do it like once a week and my hair is usually not that dirty but it's itching and you know gotta wash your hair I use the Shea Moisture Yucca and Plantain anti breakage Strengthening Shampoo with Baobab Oil, I think that's how you say it, and Cilantro Extract for frizzy, split, and breaking hair. Moisturize, control, and boost shine, blah, blah, blah. You know the whole deal. And this is what it looks like and probably not going to focus. I'll put pictures. I might put pictures. I'm not even going to promise you guys. I might put pictures on the blog. I'm a busy girl so um my phone stopped going off because we're going through a little crisis with our website refresh so we're trying to avert that so if you hear it vibrating it's because my phone keeps on going off but um yeah sulfate free and color safe my hair is not colored or anything like that but my hair is still really soft and manageable sometimes I really want to skip my conditioning after using this because it's so good but you know saying like <laughs> i really like this stuff it smells like it smells okay it doesn't smell like anything to me really except for like when i'm washing it it does smell like a little bit like a plant in breakfast but the smell doesn't last like if you wash it out it would fade away anyway so it doesn't really bother me but yeah i love this stuff and this is gonna feel bad but like they for some reason, CVS, they don't have the bake size of the Tresemme, um, curl, it's like, I don't remember what it's called, it's Tresemme Naturals, um, conditioner for curly hair or whatever it's called. So, I got the CVS dupe because, like, they're, I don't know, this is how big it's supposed to be, and when I went to see it was like half or less of this size and it was still the same price and I'm like you're bugging so let me look for a dupe and this is compared to Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner and it smells the same way as the other one and it does the same job I mean, it has the same ingredients basically and it was I don't know how much it was like probably five dollars for this big old thing so this is what I used to condition my hair instead of the Tresemme because they try to rip you off at CVS so so I find like that big old thing of it again this is what I'm using it's pretty good it's, I it has a lot of slip and it keeps my hair really moisturized like I swear by that stuff between that and herbal essences um it's in the blue bottle I forgot what it's called 
I haven't used it in a long time though because it, it left my hair too moisturized like I couldn't wash it out properly but this one is good I'm trying not to ramble I'm trying to make this video really really quick um, and if I decide to co-wash my hair which I rarely do anymore especially since I started using the Shea Moisture Shampoo I used the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair complete conditioning co-wash and it smells like coconut and it's affordable got a CVS too it smells so much it smells so good oh my gosh love this stuff I think it's comparable to the um coconut co-wash I forgot that name I might just insert the name somewhere over here of oh yeah the as I am that's what it is as I am coconut co-wash that's what it is comparable to and I think it's about the same amount in this inside the jar anyway so if you want a cheaper alternative this stuff is good oh my gosh I left it upstairs I knew it was gonna leave something upstairs but my deep conditioner I use actually I'm not gonna say what it is because I'm looking for a better deep conditioner because it's like really cheap and old school and I shouldn't I probably shouldn't be using it in my hair I'm trying to be a little more better trying to be better when it comes to putting products in my hair that are not harmful to me and that has mineral oil and all that stuff but it has protein in it so I just use it it's some type of hair and mayonnaise not gonna mention it right now anyway usually every other week because I'm lazy I should be doing once a week but every other week I deep condition my hair and that's what I use after I wash out my deep conditioner and everything I dry my hair with either a towel or a I uh, don't even know what it's called it's some type of scarf like one of those African or Hawaii I don't know let me okay I dry my hair with a white tee <laughs> and after that my hair air dry a little bit like until it's damp not soaking dripping wet and I do the lock method and what the lock method is and I definitely left my other leave-in upstairs is you either use liquid or a leave-in oil and then a cream and my leave-in that I swear by is the Giovanni leave-in conditioner I'm going to probably I don't know you guys know what that looks like everybody talks about it my Giovanni leave-in conditioner I have it upstairs and I swear by it I have backups on backups on backups upstairs of it and of course I leave that upstairs if I, I try to switch products and my hair doesn't get too used to it and I use the Jamaican black castor oil strengthen grow and restore leave-in conditioner with shea butter peppermint and keratin natural chemical process color traded or heat style hair blah 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 and I I kinda like this stuff like it's it does the job like the first time like I've heard people say like the first time they use it doesn't really do anything but like when they keep on using it their hair starts to like it and that's exactly how I feel about it and people I feel I'm not gonna say y'all are lying but I don't like the smell like people say it smells like vanilla it smells like cookies no it smells like play-doh straight up play-doh and I don't like that smell but luckily the smell does not stay in your hair so anyway that's leave-in I usually have I left it upstairs too and I always do this but anyway I have like an oil I mixed with olive oil castor oil and coconut oil that I would put through my hair you know my scalp and massage in there daddy I'm in here filming <laughs> It didn't come yet. You're gonna. No. You're going out? No. I'm, <laughs> I'm filming a club review. So <laughs> it's okay. This is shea butter and this is actually not the good shea butter because I learned that the shea butter that you use, um, the one from like the use supply store stuff like that, I'm sorry I'm like a little flustered because that was hilarious, but anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> the yellow color is usually like the waste product that from the shea, the actual shea butter. And I don't know how to describe it, but I think I'm going to link that, like, whole article down below. Um, well, it's, like, not a real article. It's a blog. It's not really an article. It's a blog post about, um, shea butter, the, the good stuff and everything. This is not the good stuff. I have to buy the good stuff. But the good stuff is usually the white 
shea butter or like the ivory colored one this is like the waste product that doesn't really have all the nutrients that's supposed to help your hair but as right now it does the job and i mix i melted it down and mix coconut oil olive oil i didn't put castor oil in it yeah and i think all and almond not almond oil ooh, avocado oil i melted it all down into this i'm almost done with it and it does the job i guess it keeps my hair moisturized and that was definitely a tip I got from Whitney from Natural 85 when I met her at BeautyCon. Like she was helping out because I was having a really bad hair crisis, if you guys remember from when I got um, my box braids, which is a total different story. I should do a video on that actually. But anyway, yeah, I use this as my oil sometimes because, like, with four type hair, it's better to use like heavy butters instead of like a regular oil okay this stuff i love so much and it's pretty affordable i like by looking at packaging you're probably like oh that's some cheap old stuff but no it's actually good for your hair it doesn't have all the bad stuff in it um yeah it has enriched with al aloe vera coconut olive soy argan oil shea and mango butter it smells like oh, it smells like um Amber Romance from Victoria's Secret or Amber Blush, I think it was called, from Bath and Body. And oh my gosh, and like the smell stays in your hair the entire week, which I love. Love it, I love it, I love it. It's really thick and moisturizing, and my hair is really shiny after I use it. I want the deep conditioner, but I can never find it anywhere anymore because that stuff was good too, and you could also use it as leave in. So don't sleep on beautiful textures, moisture butter, guys. If I don't use that and like, I feel like I need more protein in my hair, I use the Curl Enhancing Smoothie that we all know about from Shea Moisture. And it has silk protein and neem oil in it for thick curly hair. We all know about this stuff. And it took me a while to get this because like Shea Moisture is so expensive. I like how it smells. It smells like jello, like sweet jello, sweet fruity jello. It has like kind of like a pudding because it's con not pudding but like souffle kind of consistency, which I really love. Oh, you know, like the Yoplait whips? That's what it feels like. But yeah, I love this stuff when I need, like, extra strength in my hair and not, and I feel, my hair feels too stringy and, like, soft. I use this. And during the week, I do moisturize my hair. I have a spray bottle full of water that's mixed with the Giovanna leave-in. And I spray it in my hair during the week to keep it moisturized. And I do the lock method. That's my liquid oil. I use my oil mixture that I was talking about before or if it's really dry shea butter and then a cream one of these babies so if you have any questions like I would have shown you my routine but to be honest I'm not comfortable showing my cornrows on camera not there yet sorry I'm I'll be honest I'm not on that comp okay I'm just gonna quickly end this video but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. Share it however you share it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will talk to you guys in a later video. Bye.